It's extremely important for us to replace fossil fuels with renewable sources of energy that will sustain us into the future. The stakes for us are huge. We've been on this trajectory we cannot sustain, so it's our responsibility to change that trajectory. And really, the only way to do that is for us to come up with energy sources that are renewable and that we can sustain it for the good of our planet. We have this phrase, electrification of everything, that we use a lot around here. And for us, it's really about making sure that everything that can be powered by electricity is. To do that, we need batteries that can last longer, and we need batteries that can hold more energy. And that's fundamentally what we're trying to do, to remove that dependence on fossil fuels and lead into a new age. When I think about how lithium-ion batteries have defined the current era, they've been fantastic for us up to now. Electric cars are here, electric transportation and mobility is here, but now that it's here, it needs to be able to go further. It needs to be able to charge faster. It needs to be able to stop holding us up in the moments when we need them the most. Conventional lithium-ion batteries, they're just simply not going to take us where we need to go for the future. And at Group 14, our part is trying to make the world's best material so that we can reinvent what a lithium-ion battery is. And it's called a silicon battery. What's normally on the market for lithium-ion batteries utilizes a graphite-based anode, um, and that has worked quite well since the inception of the lithium-ion battery. However, uh, it is quickly reaching its limits in terms of energy density. Silicon comes into the mix now in terms of how we can improve that. We invented actually our own way of making that silicon, addressing the issues that typical silicon material would have, which is volume expansion. So our particle is designed in a way to address that problem. We call our silicon material SEC55, which stands for Silicon Carbon Composite. Uh, 55 being the iteration for the protocol number. So we went through a myriad of different iterations of this material, a bunch of different modifications, but settled on this one as uh, a good balance of the properties that we were looking for. SCC55 is a composite with nanosilicon, amorphous carbon, and white space. It provides higher energy density and enables faster charge. So that means that we can either have more capacity in a battery of the same size or make batteries much smaller and lighter for different applications. With incorporating silicon, we're able to get to energy densities 10 times that of, of graphite, uh, which can really enable this next generation of, of consumer electronics and devices such as EVs. One of the nice things about our material is that it's a drop-in replacement, which means you can keep your existing battery design and replace the active material, such as graphite, with silicon, transforming it from a lithium-ion battery into a lithium-silicon battery. Essentially what that means is that a manufacturer for an EV, for instance, would not have to change anything about their battery assembly process. Uh, if they're currently using graphite as an anode material, they can take out as much of that or as little of that as they want and put in as much or as little SCC55 as they want without making any changes to their electro fabrication process or the construction of their battery. You know, if you think about silicon, it's this very, very abundant element it's, it's basically part of what sand is, SiO2. Uh, so it may not sound very special when you think about that, but if you think about what we can do with silicon and now how we can use that to transform batteries into silicon batteries, it is really remarkable. And now we're taking the silicon age into its next step from information storage to energy storage. Charge anxiety is this, this burden that we carry that we don't even know about. It is about the fear that the things that we use the most fail us when we need them the most. When we think about a world powered by silicon batteries, charge anxiety simply goes away. We don't have to worry about it anymore. When I think about the future of the electrification of everything, in some ways I have a vision of, of what that would be. Uh, maybe it's, you know, uh, flying to work in, 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 my, in my flying car. But really, when I think about it, it's probably things that I can't even imagine yet. How are you going to take advantage of these kinds of materials? So I'm kind of looking forward to my colleagues in this sort of chain of how we electrify everything and seeing what they can do next.